We are gathered here today for me to tell you that 1111, 1111 is not an angel number. No number is really a special communication. Oh, when I see this number, it means I'm being communicated with. No, some things may be communicating with you, but uh, you got to be careful with your oracles. Some standard meanings for 1,111 can include the energetic gateway is opened up for us. Now, if you're dreaming of the things, if you're seeing them in a vision, that's a different story. You want to look at that. Self-mastery. Spiritual encounters are close. Self-referral. Self-actualization. Self-assessing. Self-correcting. Content soul. Elemental beginnings. Parallel starts. And... I don't know what I was trying to say there, but so verses that have to do with a thousand and eleven. Let's start with an easier one to find. Surah one hundred and eleven, verse one. The power, the power, of the Father of Flames, will perish. And he will perish. 11.11. Uh, some Baptist churches and some Methodist churches are starting to have church services at 11.11. Um, or in their founding, some, of, some modern churches have arisen to do that. I don't know exactly why they've done that. Maybe it was because they heard it matches with the movie. There could be some 11.11 chapter 11, verse 11, Bible verse that they're hinting at. There are some churches that do that with numbers. They have a chapter and verse, but they don't tell you which book it's in. So you're left wondering which one. You almost want to attend the church service just to find out, because you've been seeing that all the time. Sir 11, Ayat 11, Save those who persevere and do good works. Theirs will be forgiveness and a great reward. Verse number 1,111 in the Quran is a, from Surah 7, 157. Those who follow the messenger, the prophet who can neither read nor write, whom they will find described in the Torah and the Gospel. Now, the Latter-day Saints do a little game with their interpretation to make it sound like Joseph Smith fulfills the prophecy, but who they will find described in the Torah and the Gospel with them. He will enjoin on them that which is right and forbid them that which is wrong. He will make lawful for them all good things and prohibit for them only the foul and he will relieve them of their burden and the fetters that you, they used to wear. Then those who believe in him and honor him and help him and follow the light which is sent down with him, they are the successful. And there are some verses in the Bible that, in the Aramaic, of course, or at least one variation of it, you have, they equal 1,111. And the first one of three would be uh, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Number, Deuteronomy 14, 18. And I'm sharing translation here. And the stork and the heron after her kind and the lapwing and the bat... And I'm going to share words, the first occurrence in the Bible, and you can look that up and maybe expand the meaning. 
symbolism is about that. You can say this, and this is connected to this, this is part of this, and but stick with the basic meaning first, of course. Uh, Psalm 105, 13. When they went from one nation to another and from one kingdom to another people. Proverbs 3.26 For the Lord, I presume they mean Yahweh instead of this Lord, translate God as a noun and a verb properly. Increasing existence, the Hawa, the ya, is the verb taking it in. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and keep thy foot from being taken. So, being. I don't know. Um, so a word for sale uh, for sell s e l l found in Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight is wahet mekrutim and found in Second Chronicles three six we have let part long a because you have the aleph there meaning glory. In Psalm 11.3, we have a word for foundation. Hesh tut. And then we move on to the Greek. And there's more. Oh, no. I'll, I'll do the finals using, because in Hebrew you use final values too. Malak Yisrael is the king of the upright of God. So the children of Israel is something that changes per generation. It's not something that's inherited in terms of the meaning of the term. Although it does refer to Israelites, but, you know, they're brown-skinned, black woolly haired you know, sort of people. As, and they're, if they're purebred, if they're mixed in with others, who knows what they're going to look like. Gektun is elevation. Aetun, Aetun is rocks. Very extended, constant, strength, firm, durable, might, mighty ones, you know, and nobles. And getting into some La uh, Greek here. Aplos is liberal from James 1.5. Isn't that the verse that says, whatever thing you ask of God, he giveth liberally and abradeth not. So, it's not meaning the liberal is and the leftist. Although, that word can be used in that context. Om Asa is to swear. At an oath, I, I'm sure. Hebrews 3.11 Ketef Tharmana Ketef Tharmana is corrupt. And that's found in Titus 3.8. Second Titus three eight. Pulaxon means to keep. This is uh, X right. First Titus six twenty. Pluraroi is a tattler, and Titus. First Titus five thirteen. Christas is to anoint. Christos instead of Christos. You know, it's a it's a it's an A. From Col second Colossians one twenty one. And from Acts thirteen twelve we have and thu patas and anthopatas is a deputy, and ployar 
Re Oya Ploy R Eoa Ploy R E O E is a boat. John twenty one eight. The O E O O E O. That actually is referring to Odin, not boats, but it kind of reminds me of that. Ek por you on pay. Ek por you on pay is to proceed from Mark 7.21 and Thib Thibosin Thibosin is trouble. And that's found in Mark 3 9. And Praxo is is to go. And that's in Matthew 6 32. Iota is a jot, you know, like a letter, or like a little mark. Mark 5 18. And I got glory and foundations and oh I forgot one little bit right here. It would have been nice if I finished on eleven eleven, but I'm not as smooth maybe I could edit it down to that technically and not lose anything. Tunics and cloaks and aprons equals one thousand one hundred and eleven. And that word tunics Catnet, cloaks, mile, aprons, apud, branch and root is 1,111. And church, shabbat. And that brings the whole thing to an end. But be open to symbolize things, to take something out, put something in to numbers. Just don't develop schizophrenia because you're trying to make sure that everything matches a particular number pattern. Now, you can use number symbology as a devotional practice that I am going to go to the effort to figure these things out, these patterns and all this, and to arrange things in this way. But it probably should be an extra to your spiritual practices. It could be something that you do because you want to keep some of your math skills. Because um, you don't want to just, eh, I don't have to use things anymore. You got calculators, all that other stuff. No, you will realize things in life. You may have experiences where, you know, on the spot because you were used to looking at numbers and letters and all sorts of stuff like that, that I know what it means. <laughs>